Breaking news out of Georgia, where four more of Donald Trump's co-defendants surrendered at Atlanta's Rice Street Jail within just the last few hours. So a total of six now booked. And we have mugshots of the first few to get booked. We still have 13 surrenders to go, including Trump himself, as we await his surrender tomorrow. We're going to learn here that Rudy Giuliani is traveling now to Atlanta. And we could know this afternoon whether Mark Meadows will be allowed to delay his surrender to authorities. NBC's Von Hilliard's in Atlanta. Also joining us is Cynthia Oxney, former federal prosecutor, and Dave Ehrenberg, Florida State Attorney for Palm Beach County. Uh, Von, what more do we know about Giuliani now traveling to Atlanta and any other people that may surrender today? Right, we know that Rudy Giuliani, Anna, is actively en route from New York here to Georgia, where ultimately, to our understanding, he and his counsel will be negotiating a, a bond agreement with the district attorney's office before ultimately agreeing to come here to the Fulton County Jail to surrender. Our producer, Adam Reese, is just getting word that John Esposito, the lawyer in New York, has agreed to represent uh, uh, Rudy Giuliani. There will also be local counsel involved here. For Rudy Giuliani, uh, this is somebody here who is, uh, over the last days, has been actively engaged in conversations trying to find Georgia counsel who could represent him here in the courts. He has till Friday to surrender, but we expect in the hours ahead for him to not only appear at the courthouse, but then also potentially the jail here just about 15 minutes down the road from there. We also know that Kenneth Cheeseboro, one of the uh, Trump attorneys yes, who uh, is credited, if you may, for uh, 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 launching the fake elector scheme and is laid out in the indictment as one of those 19 co-defendants. He is here at the jail as we speak. There is no indication that he has left his booking here at this time. But in the middle of the morning, there is also former Georgia GOP chairman David Schaefer, who appeared uh, before the jail, as well as uh, Kathy Latham, who was one of the individuals alleged to have uh, allowed contractors to come in and uh, uh, tamper with voting machines here in Coffee County. So this is a, a fast-moving process. We also now know that Donald Trump not only is expected to come tomorrow, but we don't expect him to come until later tomorrow night, you know, well into the evening, closer to sundown uh, here to the jail. This is a process we, in which we still expect Donald Trump to go through the typical process that other defendants have, which would include fingerprinting, uh, potentially even a mugshot. Each of the defendants that have come in so far have had to go through that process. And so this is still very much of an active scene here in the heart of Atlanta, Anna.